All right, um, 2018, 2019, question 2C. Two a circuit having a resistance of 8 ohms, so solution, first of that, given, given, first of, I have resistance I equal to 8 ohm. The Z, an inductor of 0 0.5 millihertz, number two, I have inductor, that's N, thank you, 0 0.5 millihenry, that's equal to 0 0.5 times 10 to the power minus 3 henry, so you have this. Next to the Z, but the Z is variable capacitance, so C, the Z is variable, we don't know the value in series. Okay, connected across 200 volts, but for the given voltage V as equal to 200 volts and 50 hertz supply, number five, the given frequency as equal to 50 hertz. Okay, um, the iPad says calculate the capacitance to give resonance. So, iPads. I capacitance capacitance to give resonance capacitance to give resonance. So how do I find this? Now um so at this point, it says capacity to give resonance. From here, the term resonance of course here. So for this case now, to get this value of C, what you, what, what you have to do is this. Um, record the condition for resonance to occur. We said for resonance to occur, that what there? The um, reactance of the inductor must be equal to the reactance of the capacitor. This value, we said, is equal to 2 pi FL. That's this. Is equal to this value is 1 all over 2 pi FC. So you have this. Um, um, whichever we do. But don't worry. No, let's just work. Alright, so what do I get? Uh, what do I get is? Um, if you value, what do I get? This is 2 times pi times f. What f here? 15. Okay. Times f. What f there? 0 0.5 times 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to 1 all over. One all over two times five times f fifty times c. So I have this. Please punch all of this correctly. What do you get? Punch all of this correctly. What do you get? All right. So this gives, this one here gives you zero point one five seven. That's is equal to, I have 1 all over, this is 100 pi, 2 times 50, 100 pi, and then C. Alright, my task now is over 1, cross multiply, this and this, so I have 100 pi C, multiply this, 0 0.157 is equal to 1 times 1, that's 1. If this multiplies, 100 times this gives you 15.7. So 100 times this gives you 15.7 pi c is equal to 1. Divide that by 15.7 15, 15 pi. Divide that by 15.7 pi. This cancels this. Pi cancels pi. And C is equal to
Zero point zero two. Give me the value. Zero zero two what? Zero to seven. Zero to seven. Yes. No. Zero to seven. Just zero two. Zero point zero two. Zero point zero two. Zero two. Yes. Zero point zero two zero two. Unit. This for us. Now listen, 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 listen. In AC concepts, sometimes the value can be very small. All right, as what you have here. So try to express that value in terms of a prefix, as we did here, me. So try to express this in terms of me. How do that? Count this from three times to the right from here. One, two, three. It becomes 20.2. 20.2 mini para. That's it. From here, 1, 2, 3. 20.2 mini para. So here is a better expression compared to this. That's it. Right, so that's, that's the best part. Huh? What's I I? So I I says find the voltage across inductor and capacitor. Now hang on. We said voltage across inductor is VL equal to I XL. Voltage across capacitor is VC that's equal to I XC. For both of them, what's common there is current R. That's what's common there. Your first task now is to find current first. Find current first. How? Ohm's law. Recall from Ohm's law that V is equal to I R. Um, so I becomes V over R. That means the current I is equal to V this 200 over R 8. Please give me value. In 2 dp possibly. Sorry? 25. 25 amperes. So, you have it. Alright. So, let's start with inductor first. For inductor, for inductor, if you don't have the time now, you come here and sketch a very beautiful diagram from them. Right? You're enticing them. If you have time, take your time. Huh? Sketch this diagram. Just come here for inductor. Just come here and sketch this. It's like this, um, this inductor. Um, this, 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 this. Hold on. What kind of diagram is this? What kind of circuit is this? It's what there? Yeah? RLC. Are they? Yes. Yeah, because I have resistance. Resistor, yeah? I have inductor. I have, so you can just come here and just sketch a diagram very fast. You sketch it and put the value. That for the load will distinguish your work. Yeah, this, um, this, and then this. So sketch this one very fast. Current, yeah, this one here. Yeah. V is how many there? 200. So you come and say 200 volts per mark, 50 hertz. 50 hertz. That's it. Resistor is 8 ohms. So 8 ohms. Inductor. 0.5 milli Henry capacitor, we just completed there. 25. 25. No, no, capacitor. 20.2 milli para. Let's put this here. You don't know, this is because no load is doing. Don't forget to be both the code there. VR, VL, VC. In fact, if possible, before you draw this thing there, make sure you calculate them first. So you have the value for them. Put it here. It's only people in engineering that will produce that diagram and not the file. In the open engineering, they don't do file and draw this here. Oh. But then, by the time you put this in your diagram, it will make your work unique. That's how you answer the last question. By the way, please. Uh, for a doctor, both it across a doctor V L is equal to I X L. 
before you do this, make sure you're a fast writer. You're not fast. No, but go to something else, something else. That's I. XL is 2 pi FL. So hence, VL is equal to I 25 times 2 times pi. Times pi times f. F was to get this 50. 50 times f. Please careful, careful. Times the power there minus 3. We convert that. So please give me the Punch. What do you have?